Hello everybody. Ich bin's. Luke. I um I already made a, a vlog this week, but it was too long and YouTube rejected it. So I have to make another one. Um it's the morning. So I have a wonderful deep voice. Um I probably sound sick. But uh well, you know, what are you going to do? So, the big thing, the big news this week, actually it's really last week's news, is that I wanted to, oh, ah, sorry. Sorry, I'm holding this camera in my hand and it's kind of uh, hard. So anyway, what I was going to tell you is that last week I got a language partner. I think I mentioned this, but um, I didn't really say much about it. So we met three times last week. And as most of you know, that's been the biggest barrier being here in Berlin is talking to people. Like, I've gotten accustomed to watching television in German, reading the paper in German, speaking to, in German to people on the street. But I've never really sat down with the German person and had a conversation in German, and it's really hard. But anyway, um, it's getting easier. I still make about a million mistakes and I can never think of what I'm saying, what I want to say. Um, and you know how they say that people, uh, like if you've had a few beers, you are you you are better at the language? That's not true for me. I mean, I'm not better. I mean, I'm worse. My German becomes really awful and I can't ever think of my word. And so I feel like a total idiot um, if I've had, had anything to drink at all. So anyway. Uh, so Claudia, that's my language partner, she is from some town in Magdeburg, and that's in the former East. So she was actually raised behind the Iron Curtain, which is exciting. She learned Russian in school, and um, I guess she was probably about nine when the Iron Curtain came down. And so... The other, I'll, I'll tell you one of the most interesting experiences we had, and then I have to go because these things have to be pretty short, evidently. So, um, we, uh, she invited me to go out for sushi, and I was already burnt out on speaking German, so I really didn't want to go, but it was sushi, so what was I going to do? I had to say yes, it's been five months since I had sushi, which is Kanzleka. So, I went out with her and her friend, her Italian roommate, Marta, Marta's Italian boyfriend, Marco, and Marta and Marco's other Italian friend, Marta, her name was not hard to remember, and uh, then their French friend, Farid, and now I thought his name was Farad, but that's not true, and Farad means bicycle in German, so I'm really glad I didn't call him Farad. <laughs> anyway, so just at one point, we're sitting, we're eating Japanese food. And since one of the Martas does not speak German, or English really, only Italian, French, and Spanish, um, the three Italians would be speaking Italian, and um, Claudia and I would be speaking German to each other. And occasionally, Farid and Marta, who both spoke French, would speak French across me to each other. And one time, uh, Marco asked me a question about Obama, and I uh, it just felt like it was too complicated for me to try and answer in uh, German. So I said, I asked if everybody spoke English. And so then I answered the question to Mar uh, Marco in English. So it was like a Tower of Babel there. It was, it was kind of crazy. At any given point, you had no idea what language anybody was going to speak. And Farid kept trying to speak to me in French because I told him I studied it, but I... I had to stop him. I said, please, German or English, because I just, I can't, I still can't understand French or speak it. Anyway, so I've met a bunch of times with uh, Claudia, and I think we're going to go do some carnival party on Monday. Um, so I have to find a kooky costume. Can't wait for that. Anyway, it's been great, and it's been hard, and I really feel like I'm finally overcoming the last hurdle of being here. And you know what, even though it's snowing outside and it's freezing and I keep humiliating myself, I really love it here. 
and I'm, I have a feeling, I mean, the first five months was the hardest part, and it, it's over. And the next five months, I'm expecting to be super awesome. I'm going to the opera tonight with some friends. So, anyway, things are looking up in Berlin. Uh, hope you guys are having a great time back in the States. And uh, I will talk to you later. Tschüss.